Oh. Hey, Manny, I, I just bought a house in Palm Springs, so we are... Uh, we're neighbors. <laughs> We're going to be neighbors. Yay. I, I, I'll watch my P's and Q's from here on. <laughs> right, really. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> a big, big, big congrats on Jackpot. It's fun and funny and sweet. I enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so welcome. Let's begin with you, Mr. Paul, my new neighbor. Give us the genesis. What got you interested in directing Jackpot? Uh, the script. Uh, it was sent to me, and it sounded like it was going to be crazy. And then when I read it, I realized it was hilarious and had a lot of heart and a chance to do a lot of really big action, but funny action, which I love. And then on top of that, Nora and uh, John Cena were already attached to it as actors. So I was just like, well, how could I not do this? Because <laughs> Nora and I have known each other for a few years now, and yeah. we've been trying to figure out what to do together, and uh, it just, just checked every box. Well, you, when you came on, you were like our gift. Oh, well, bless you. Or, oh. or, or oh. I can't speak mutual for, gifts. for my mutual yes, gifts. Yes, yes, mutual gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Nora, Miss Aquafina, fantastic as Katie, the actress, the spaghetti squares <laughs> model. Thank you. <laughs> Describe your character and what got you interested in playing her, besides Paul Feig. <laughs> Um, I, I well, uh, Katie is um, a child actress that um, you know finds herself on in hard times, uh, coming back to LA, not realizing kind of what the state of it is and how it's devolved. Um, there's an innocence about her, literally, and also because she doesn't know what's going on. Um, so it, yeah, like you were saying, it kind of follows her around through her lens during this day where uh, like she's seeing really the worst of everybody in in one day. Um, so, I, it, I mean, it, I think that it's such a, it was written so funny. Obviously, um, Paul's directing style is, is amazing and he's so funny. And I think it was, a, it was a really great experience. She just has to find her inner turtle power, right? No, don't we exactly. all? Don't we all? I still don't know what that means. I, I, I still don't know, I still don't know what that means, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure it out one day. Nora. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and that dressed like a husky tween. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely saw the movie. <laughs> Thanks for watching it, yeah. No, but, by the way, Ms. Alcopina, this is also very physical, right? I mean, how all those karate chops and everything. How mm -hmm. did you prepare? Um, we had an amazing stunt team led by our uh, stunt director, James Young. Um, it, I mean, it really, I started my fitness journey on this, on this movie. I'd never really been to a gym before, but you kind of have to just to loosen up the arms or whatever they say in Joe <laughs> terminology. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and, and, and the, the scenes, like the opening sequences, the big fight sequences, like you, you, they're like choreography more so than, um, you know, training, right? So it's, it's working with, with people, mm -hmm. know, knowing how they move. And then, and then it, you know, it, in, in the gym and then you do it in real life and it's very exciting and different, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know what, Paul? I, I think wh why the movie works is because of the the chemistry between Aquafina and John Cena. Yeah. Tell us quickly why. How did you zero in on them? Well, I mean, fortunately, since they were both attached, sometimes you come onto something and you you have the cast, and you're like, I hope they have chemistry. But <laughs> what I find is that the best people in this business, the most talented people, have chemistry with each other because they realize they can't play tennis alone, you know, and they depend on each other. And they're both just beautifully nice people. So it really, it's all there. So is yeah. it. And so you know what? Right. I'm so sorry. And I won't let you go, Mr. Paul, without talking about Dolly De Leon. All of us Filipinos love seeing her there. Yes, Talk Dolly. Talk quickly about her. Oh, the best. Well, yeah, I first saw her in um, a Triangle of Sadness. Sadness. And she's amazing in that. And so we were like, I wonder if we could get her, and it turned out she was available and wanted to do it. So I pinch myself on the set every day because she's so talented and she's so wonderful and lovely. No, it was a real, true honor to work with Donna. That, that was so cool when I when she signed on. Yeah. That was like very cool. Yeah. Oh, well, you guys are amazing. I'm so sorry I'm running out of time, but a big congrats on Jackpot again. Thank you. It's all worth killing for. There we go. <laughs> hey, well done. I'll see you around town, pal. <laughs> I'll see you, my new neighbor. There we go. <laughs> there are only two houses in Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Randy. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>